I have a very clumsy cat, and it's very bad for my house and everything that's in it. Hello, everybody! I'm Kindly Kid, and welcome to Clumsy Cat! This is my cat. He's clumsy. This is my house. It's in trouble. Um, I guess the object of the game is to just break as much stuff as you can as a cat. And as you can see, I can jump all over the place and destroy everything. I have three minutes to basically cause as much destruction and sadness uh, to this house as I possibly can. Let's get those cassette tapes. Those seem like things that I can break pretty easily. Also, I want to get this laptop. Is that a laptop? I don't know. It's garbage now. Doesn't really matter. Oh, that is an old school camera. I hope it wasn't valuable. Oh, grandma. I just dropped her urn. Um, okay. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is totally fine. We're heading to the basement. That's an anvil. That seems like a great way to break stuff. I, I can push. Okay, yes. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, you know, it's fine. This is what happens when you leave your cat, who is also very clumsy, in a house full of lots of stuff. I can't help but notice we have a ton of stuff. Is that a Egyptian, uh, like coffin? I have a ancient pharaoh in my, in my basement, but why? I don't know. It's better to not ask questions. <laughs> Oh, that is so satisfying. All right, I want to try and hit this. This, like, this this electrical panel. There you go. Yeah, all right. King Tut, what are you doing? How do I destroy King Tut? You know what? I think I have a plan, kind of. If I push this stuff over... Come on, cat, you can do it. You can do it. Just put your back into it. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm trying to get the coffin underneath the barbells up above. You get it? You got it. You know what I'm going after. And if I can do that, then I could... I could crush it with the with the barbell, but I don't know if I can. Just, oh no, I'm gonna mess it up. No, I okay. Well, you know, there's that. Sorry, two wash or dryers. Like, why would I have two dryers? How many clothes am I cleaning every single day? Seems like a bit much. Um, this aquarium, on the other hand, this seems like the perfect thing for a cat to break. <laughs> oh no! Wait, no, it survived. How? No. Crush it. Crush it. I gotta get rid of this TV. There you go. Radio? That's a vintage radio. Let's knock it off of that shelf. I feel like I'm not doing a great job, but somehow I have managed to rack up almost $7,000 worth of damage. So, you know, I mean, that's quite a bit. <laughs> That's gonna be an interesting insurance claim. I went to work and my cat destroyed pretty much everything I own. They're gonna love that. They're gonna absolutely love that. I also have like Greek decor up on my top floor as one does. How, how big of a house do I live in? Oh my gosh, I have the Mona Lisa. Destroy it. Let's go. What was the Mona Lisa worth? I don't even know, but $12,000. <gasps> oh my. All right, that seems like a good day. No, no, you can't send a cat with this kind of destructive power to the museum. This seems so bad. This is priceless art and you're leaving this cat to have his way with all of it? Seems very bad. Look at all these characters though. Unlock all characters. I just spent $3 to unlock every single character in this game. Um, there are different kinds of cats. There's actually a baby, a clumsy baby. You're gonna leave a baby at a museum? That actually sounds hilarious. I'm doing it. <laughs> this is so good. All right, destroy as many objects as possible. Get to it, baby. Oh my gosh, dinosaur bones galore. Oh no, I've already caused $50,000 worth of damage. Oh my goodness gracious. This baby is out of control. Where are your parents? Wait, am I your parent? Oops. All right. Well, we'll just uh, ignore the fact that I'm being a terrible parent and uh, let this baby continue destroying everything in the museum. Priceless works of art that are truly worth millions, if I had to guess. Um, the, the Mona Lisa? What, what's the Mona Lisa worth? Come on. What was that? How much was that? I got to know. Two million dollars. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's the statue of the thinking guy. I don't know what the name of this statue is. Is, but it's going down. Oh no! That was just a, a million dollars. Mm. Okay. Yep. Oh, baby. 
why? Why would you? Why? Why would I let this happen? Oh, no. There's a naked statue. I gotta destroy this thing. How do I get this? Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna waste so much time trying to knock this thing over. Okay, forget it. Forget it. Baby's moving on. We got dinosaur bo We got dinosaur bones to destroy. This is fine. T-Rex? Oh, no. T-Rex. I'm so sorry. What is this? Oh, no. Now we're moving into the Egyptian artifacts. You know good stuff is gonna happen here. And by good stuff, I mean lots of destruction. We have a sarcophagus. Can I push it down the stairs? You know I can. You know I gotta do it. Oh, man. Mask of Tutankhamun. That's King Tut. It's just the fancy way to say it. So much stuff getting destroyed. Okay, now we're moving into Japanese history. Sure. Samurais, you don't scare me. That mask scares me a little bit, but it's about to get destroyed, so who cares? <laughs> this baby is having the time of his life. But watch out for the glass. There's so much broken glass on the floor. Holy cow, we have done almost $8 million worth of damage. I don't know what else to say other than oops. So uh, just uh, filed an insurance claim of $7,826,125 for uh, leaving a baby at a museum. We'll see how the insurance company feels about that one. Let's go to the school. And who should wreak havoc on the school? How about a raccoon? <laughs> Or a cow. Oh my gosh. I love the idea of a cow just getting lost in a school and destroying everything. Let's get it. Get to it, cow. Oh my gosh. This guy is huge compared to the baby and the cat. This thing is massive. Just a tank of an animal, which, you know, kind of makes sense. Cows are pretty big. Um, apparently his push power is, is very good. His jump power is less good, but, you know, who cares? Just destroying the sun science area. That's, that's fine. Can we can we get over this? <laughs> He's not the greatest jumper, but he is a cow. Give him credit where credit's due. He's just trying to get out of this school. He got locked in here. Doesn't know how he ended up like this. Some kind of terrible school prank gone terribly wrong. Let's destroy the basketball court. How am I? Uh, you think I can hit that sign? You know I can. There we go. <laughs> that's a nice little uh, damage bonus. I like that. Destroy a basketball hoop while you're at it. Um, Where am I going? Can I get up there? I totally can. What? Is this a bowling ball? No, that's gotta be like just a volleyball or something or like a dodgeball. We can destroy some lights up here. No! Alright, well, I fell. Get to it, Mr. Cow. Destroy some instruments. Yeah! Yes! Beautiful, beautiful destruction. <laughs> so good. Oh, we've got to drop that anvil on that piano. You know that's going to be worth a pretty penny. I just, I got to get up there, man. Come on, cow. You can do it. Haven't you ever heard the story about the cow who jumped over the moon? This is nothing compared to the moon. First things first, scoot over the piano and then get to the other side. I got to get to the other side of the, of the anvil. And then you push. You push, you destroy. He's done it. It's a cool $6,000 piano. Is that the average cost of a piano? Piano? That's a lot. Let's go to the library. I imagine books aren't worth all that much, but it sure is fun to destroy them. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, man. Sorry, library. Oh, the computer lab. Electronics, always very, very pricey. I just squished a computer literally with the weight of my cow presence. I got to get up on these shelves, though. D d you know, like I said, cows ain't known for their jumping unless they're jumping over moons. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that push power, man. Holy cow. He was just squishing that stuff. I should have been using more squish power. So I haven't unlocked the mall. How do you unlock the mall? Oh, you got to pay for it. You know, I had to do it. I'm unlocking the mall. And what are we putting inside of the mall? How about a lion? That seems like a great news story. Lion wreaks havoc in local mall. Tina, can you tell us about the events that led up to this lion destroying everything in the mall? Well, Gary, it seems he escaped from the zoo, but then a baby carried him to the mall and left him there. I don't know where this baby's parents are, but that's life. I'd be a terrible news reporter. That's what I'm learning. If I ended all my news reports with that's life, 
people would love it. Anyways, um, let's destroy stuff as a lion, as one does. We're, we're in the bed, bath, and beyond, and it's never gonna look the same again. Yeah, that's a good story, though. Like, how, how often do you have lions destroying everything in a mall? Probably not all that often. Make the best of it. This is the mall where a lion destroyed all of our stuff. That's like a tourist attraction now. Of course, the lion's not there anymore. Although, I gotta say, leaving the lion in the mall to do whatever he wants for the rest of, you know, his life? That seems like a pretty good way to get people interested in your mall. It also seems like a pretty good way to get people eaten in your mall. But I'm just saying, I'm, I'm an idea guy, you know? I like destroying stuff at uh, electronic shops, though. Oh, we got drones. You know those drones are worth some serious cash. We also have weird, like, knockoff Xbox Series Xs, and now they're all dead. Great. Fantastic work, Mr. Lion. I like the, the roar that the lion makes almost sounds like he's just burping. He just has some indigestion. He just finished drinking a Dr. Pepper. I don't know what it is about Dr. Pepper, but it always makes me burp a lot. Like more than normal carbonated drinks. I do tend to drink quite a bit of like sparkling water. It doesn't make me quite as burpy as a Dr. Pepper. I don't know what that is. I don't know what these things are that I'm breaking. Are these video games? I guess. Either way, they're getting destroyed. So now we can finally answer the age old question. What happens when you leave a lion to his own accord inside of a mall. People have been asking this for centuries, and now we finally know. There's so much stuff here. You know, like a jewelry shop? Oh, baby. Look at all these Rolexes. They're getting smashed. These beautiful ruby bracelets, dead. You got some, what appears to be very, very fancy uh, earrings, also destroyed. And when you think about it, we're still within the theme of the game, because lions are just really big cats. He's a really big, clumsy cat. Some diamond swans get destroyed. What were those worth? 350? That's a little disappointing. I thought they'd be worth more. Where are we going? Oh, we're heading to the toy section. As someone with two children, I gotta tell you, these toys, they're expensive. <laughs> Especially when you buy a new one almost every single day. Get those dinosaurs. 15 bucks! No, these are knockoff dinosaurs. These aren't real. That's easily a, a $45 dinosaur right there. And you make that dinosaur the dinosaur from Toy Story? That's a $60 dinosaur. Just wreaking havoc in the pharmacy. Nobody wants band-aids. Get rid of that garbage. What is this, protein powder? I don't know. It's getting destroyed. That's what's happening. It is protein powder. I don't know what protein shakes, band-aids. They're all getting smashed. Oh, we got clothes. I don't know if shoes are the most expensive thing we could be breaking in this mall, but, you know, I mean, it depends on what kind of shoe shop it is. Is this a Louis Vuitton store? Probably not. I don't think they sell sneakers, but those shoes are real expensive. There you go. Well done, Mr. Lion. Just a cool $63,000. Still can't really compete with museum, though. I mean, we did literally destroy the Mona Lisa. That's what you get when you leave a baby at the museum.